Hey screen printers, welcome to another video tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be doing printing on performance shirts. Let's get busy printing. We're going to load our shirts here on the platen. We're using Badger soft lock t-shirts. These are very soft, very silky. Um, you know, it's a good shirt for baseball season. Uh, these are moisture wicking and antimicrobial. So, um, you know, any sports teams out there will love these shirts. The color consistency is always, you know, spot on. Um, you'll never have a problem of players on the same team, you know, with a different color red shirt. Uh, with Badger, all the, uh, you know, the shirts are the exact same color. So we've got a poly ink here, and we're using a 160 mesh. Flood that, give it a couple strokes. Here we go. Spin it on around to the white base. For the white base, same thing, we've got a poly ink, and we're using a 160 mesh count. The poly inks, they do cure at uh, 280. So, um, you know, you don't have a problem with dye sublimation. Spin this around here, give it a flash. The poly inks, they do flash pretty fast. And uh, we've got a little bit of air on our flash unit there. Uh, that's, you know, definitely helpful when you're printing on the performance gear. Uh, the air will keep the shirts from um, scorching or, you know, uh, shrinking. Um, sometimes with the performance shirts, if you um, leave them under the flash too long, they can have a tendency to shrink. So, you know, if you don't have air or if you just, you know, really want to, sometimes we send our performance shirts through the conveyor before we even print them. That way, if there is any shrinking, it happens in the conveyor and not out, not out here on the press. Okay, there's the highlight white. That's through a 230 mesh count. All the squeegees are triple durometer. Uh, for the uh, underbase, we did convert part of it to half tones. That way the, uh, the final print is nice and soft. You're not laying down a whole bunch of ink. Got blue here, royal blue poly ink. That's printed through a 230 mesh count. And there you are. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this loose, send it through the conveyor. Make sure our uh, inks are fully, fully cured and we don't hit that 300 temperature. All right, let's move on down to the end and um, we'll take a look at the shirts, make sure that the temperature is, you know, around 280. So right now we're about 289 and that's, that's perfect. That's, you know, exactly where we want to be. Um, you know, like I said, once you hit that 300 temperature degrees, you know, you have a chance of uh, the shirt sublimating. And these red shirts, the, uh, the dye and the polyester will uh, turn into gas, seep into the white ink, turn that white ink pink. So, you know, nobody wants 50 shirts to come back from an unhappy customer. Um, so just make sure you're using the right inks for the right products. You know, as I mentioned, we're using poly inks on the Badger. Soft lock t-shirt here. Moisture wicking, antimicrobial, very soft, very silky. Uh, you know, all the sports teams love this shirt. So it's a good product to, to offer your customers. Um, you know, it also has a little bit of uh, sun protection in there. So it keeps them, you know, safe out there on the field. So, um, hey, thanks again for watching the tips and tutorial on poly inks and printing on poly performance garments. Till next time, happy printing.